Hi, I'm really excited to be on top of Mount Floyen, which is above the Norwegian city of Bergen. I've just been on a three night cruise on Fred Olsen's Balmoral with three top selling UK travel agents. It was their first Fred Olsen ocean cruise and mine too, so we boarded three nights ago with certain expectations. During the cruise, I've been interviewing the agents about these expectations and the realities of Fred Olsen accommodation, dining, entertainment, onboard activities, excursions, and even their offerings for solo travellers and groups. So, this is the first in a series of six myth busting videos showcasing these agent expectations and the realities of cruising with Fred Olsen. I have worked for Fred Olsen Cruise Lines for 15 years, and one of the things I absolutely love is that expectation from people and then the reality. I'm actually really excited to take these agents on board. I think they're going to be very pleasantly surprised. It will be interesting to see Balmora's flagship of the Fred Olsen fleet and to see really sort of what she has to offer versus the other ships. I think the rooms will be well appointed and I think they'll be spacious as well. I think lots of people will have that conception of it's a Fred Olsen ship, it's a British cruise, all of the cuisine is going to be British, but I, I actually think that you are going to see lots of, of influences from the destinations that the vessel's visiting. Because the ships are not as new as other ones that have been on, I was expecting it to be not dated, but maybe not as up to date as some of the others, so maybe not as modern. Uh, entertainment, I'm thinking to be probably a little bit more low key than some of the other cruise lines that have been on. And because what I've got in my head about the type of people who go on front of so I, like older, older people, I'm thinking the excursions may be not as active as, again, some other cruise lines that have been on. I know that it's a slightly older demographic for Fred Olsen, um, and I know that there can be a, sort of a younger demographic with staff and stuff on board, so it'd be nice to see the mix. I expect the activities to be quite traditional. I know things like shuffleboard on, on board, and I don't really know if that's going to appeal to me, but I'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like. Um, and bingo and things. I don't think I've, I've played bingo ever, so I'm looking forward to chatting bingo. <laughs>